Hi, I'm Mike Laguerre. I'm a real estate agent with Counts Real Estate, serving Panama City, Florida and surrounding areas. And you're watching the Florida Real Estate Channel. As a licensed Florida real estate agent, I can sell property anywhere in the state. But it's better if I find you a local agent. Let me know and I'll refer you to someone who can help you with any of these beautiful properties. Be advised though, your neighbors may be celebrities, sports stars, musicians. The upside is they probably won't bother you a lot. Hey guys, here's the big secret. We just drove seven hours to Tampa to go to the boat show. We're going inside. Do you like flats boats? There is a sea of flats boats here at the boat show. Um, a couple of them look really cool. Look at the elevation on this. Uh, Mayday Marines offering this one, but I don't know the model. Lots and lots of elevation off of the main deck. Tampa Charter Guide and Shallow Sport Pro Team member Captain Freddie Ortiz gave us a tour of the Shallow Sport Sport Model boat. The videography lesson for me was to not stop recording. Captain Freddie is a passionate fisherman who loves taking families out on charters and getting those kids on their personal best. Look him up if you get a chance. It's a great design. Sit on this seat over here. See how comfortable it is on this boat. Nice little armrest, drink holder up here. Yeah, drink holder over there. Drink holder. They look at that Loran. Casting platform. If you want to put the top down and stand right there and steer with your foot. Yep. I do it all the time <laughs> on my boat. Yeah. I do it all the time on my boat when I'm on the flats and I'm looking for redfish. Um, I don't want to get up here yet. When I'm standing there looking, I said, okay, right there, I stop the boat, put the power pole, which is, uh, this is an anchor right here, this power pole. Yep. And I stop. And that's a little uh, light wheel in there. And I got the, the boat on a jack plate, which raises the engine and lowers the engine depending where you are. That's awesome. Disconnected here and up here, and I usually take this one first. Now these two up here, loosen the sides, and then I lower it. And the whole top will swing down. It will swing down, and I can disconnect it from here and remove it, and I can fish from up here. This As is, this a casting one, platform. This right here. Oh this wow. Is a casting platform right here. Now, okay. If you wanna go under the little bridge, and you can fit. Then you remove this one in the back. Loosen the one in the front, and the whole thing goes forward. You go under the bridge, bring it right back up, and continue where you are. That's really sweet. And then, yeah, like you were telling me earlier, that the knobs. Yeah, we, these we, are we, just we, knobs, and yeah. you just put these for the show so nobody would play with them. Yeah, correct. That's cool. And usually, the way you get up here, you stand on this step, and here, and here. And that's some good solid fiberglass right whole, there. This is actually a casting platform, fishing platform right here. It's whole 350 pounds. This holds 350 pounds. You got a linebacker at the factory that he tests everything. Nice. This is the original fishing platform right here. And that's amazing. You're standing down here with your foot, you can actually drive the boat. So you could actually, if you wanted to, you could you could also put some yes, uh, grip yeah. on there. That's an option. That's fantastic. And then you got your uh, already built in for your lures and everything else in here. You got a YouTube. USB power. USB ports. This one here has a light well, which is insulated, and you can use it as a cooler. It's already plumbed. Sweet. With everything on it. Dry storage. For your wallet keys and accessories there i usually have my first aid kit there and my binoculars and stuff like that right there on my radio i got a little uhf radio for emergencies and it's there it's amazing this is a little storage compartment now that's storage not fish huh? that's storage not that's a fish box correct. That's okay 
And you see how much freeboard we got here, right, Judy? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and I tell you one thing, it's one of the driest boats you've ever been in your life. That's amazing. And I had to put four people your size on that side, and there is no water coming inside this boat at all because of the design that the boat is, is built. Yep, these, are, these guys, these flats boats are designed to be stable. Yeah, they've been around for 40 years. Nice. Casting platform, you can come over here. And right here, you can put a cup holder or a rug holder and anywhere you want because it's custom made. You tell me what you want it and I'll, I'll put it there for and you. And that, that just gives you a little bit ad, an advantage to sight fish. That's correct. Awesome. It also has the bracket for your uh, trolling motor. And people ask me, why don't you put a push platform back there? So you have a trolling motor here and you fish from over here. Why do you want to get on top back there? Well, you can drive the boat from the front. So you have a trolling motor right there. You know that. That's awesome. I appreciate it. And this is an 18 foot. So look at how wide from the back to the front is the same. This There's is a no big feeling, 18 like foot. Feels this is bigger nice. Than that, huh? Yep. Yeah. And yeah, if you said guess the length of this boat, I would. I would have said like 21, 20. Comes through there with this plate, the water gets compressed. Gives you water at all times in the propeller. When you're running in real shallow, like four inches, three inches of water, sometimes there is no water for the propeller to catch. Well, this keep water at all times in your propeller. Keeps it churning so up. That's the reason why you can always go anywhere at four inches. Wow. Of water. Three, that's and half a blade. It, and we power it with the 140, it usually comes with a 115. It's the same weight, but it's got a little bit more horsepower. You want a little bit more power. That's amazing. This thing has got a very high, uh, low end torque. So you don't uh, mess up the grasses or nothing like that. When you put uh, the power to it, you automatically on plane, you're not even touching the grass. That's our main logo, keep off the grass. <laughs> That's really sweet. Three inches of water is half a blade. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and, and imagine having three inches of water, the propeller will skip. But since you got so much water coming back and this blade compresses all that water, you're gonna have water in the propeller. It, yeah, if you're time. moving, it's getting funneled to the propeller. To the propeller. That's amazing. If you're interested in living close to some great fishing, Call or text the number on the screen. This is Mike with the Florida Real Estate Channel saying, make those dreams real.